Shinra Tensei. Yo, what is up guys? Shaunis is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now, if I'm smiling, it's because we haven't unboxed the Naruto statue in a while. It's been a minute and we're actually going to be unboxing one of my favorite characters in the whole series. From Naruto Shippuden specifically, we're going to be unboxing one of my favorite characters, Pain for the Ikatsuki. And if you guys watch Naruto, you guys know how epic that arc was that he was in. And it's by a studio called YK Studio. It's the one eight scale statue. And I had this thing pre-ordered since probably late 2019-ish. So I've been waiting a while for this thing, but we finally got it, guys. We're unboxing a Naruto statue. I'm so happy. And this box is huge, by the way. This box is on steroids. I had to stand in vertically because I wouldn't have been able to fit in the camera. But we got a Naruto statue in, pain. Shinra Tensei, let's see what's inside. Before we see what's inside, take a look at what's in front of me real quick. Now this is one of the nicest presentations I've seen for a statue. And I say that because with most other unboxings, the styrofoam box was white, but this one has that cool cement gray sort of look to it. So I really like how that looks. You got the straps right there with the YK logo on it, but check out what they give you right here. So we got a bag, I'm assuming in the navy blue, that's the certificate of authenticity. We also got a coin there and they also give you a book with instructions. I always complain when I don't give the when I don't get these, but it's so nice and refreshing when a studio actually helps you to build one of these things. Yo, look how good this packaging looks for this statue right here. I'm bro, I'm amazed right now. That's pretty much how the top of the styrofoam box look like, but you can see all the pieces here that are wrapped around packaging paper and yo, I see your nose right here, so Oh my goodness. Yo, this is gonna be sick, guys. All right, let's start working on putting this thing together. Now, if we take a look at the pieces in front of us when they're not covered up, I'm so happy that nothing came broken with this statue. You guys don't know how happy that makes me, but check out the dog, yo. You can see the Renegon on it. You can see the tongues, the chameleon. I'm guessing that's the rails right there. And the blue thing is probably water paint is from the Hidden Village of Rain. And Pretty much we got rails right there the main body and yo i can't wait to put all this stuff together now like i said they give you instructions which i'm really happy about so take a look at here it looks pretty straightforward actually when i see the word battery right there that makes me pretty happy so this is pretty dope yo it feels so authentic pretty much if you want to package everything together they show you everything right here so that's dope yo and with that battery compartment you guys can see on the base where three AA batteries are gonna go. And yo, I can't wait to see the light up features on this thing. And here I just wanted to show you guys the bottom of the statue. We have number 221 out of 280. You can see Pain and Amigakure sitting on the tongue of the humanoid face. And this statue is very awkward to hold. So this is how I had to show it to you guys. So this is how it looks like inside the dog. You can see there's more batteries that's gonna go in here. So I can't wait to see how all the light up features work. And you can see all the gluing the wires down and stuff. So. Pretty interesting, but let's get this piece all together. So one tongue for one of the dogs has a magnet on it and the other one has a peg, so let's get these in here. Check out the pipes going under this tongue right here. That looks sick. Overall, the statue was pretty easy to put together. I want to thank YK Studio for making it easy on me. And all the pieces were a nice tight fit. There was one piece that was a little loose, but I'm going to talk about that a little later. But yeah, putting this process together was no problem. Alright guys, we finally got pain all put together now and yo, 
there is a lot going on with this statue right here, a lot, but I'm loving what I see so far. And I want to thank YK Studio for giving you the directions on how to put this statue together because it was a smooth process. Now, when it comes to the dimensions of pain, I got him at about 27 inches in height, 19 inches in width, and 19 inches in length. And he only weighs 22 pounds, so he's not super heavy, but most of the weight comes from the base. This base is heavy. The statue overall, it's about 85% base and 15% pain. I believe the statue pain is a 1 8 scale, meaning he'll be 1 8th of pain's height. And it makes sense if you see the monster that this base is. We know that pain is from the hidden village of rain, and more specifically, this base just represents the pain tower. We know that he does most of his operations in there, the other six paths chilling there when they're not in use. And it's pretty cool. You can see the humanoid faces with the renegons and by the way, with these renegons right here on the base, they light up, so we haven't even seen that feature yet. The dogs light up too, but you see a dog on the base. There's also a lizard or a chameleon representing what the animal path can do. So there is a lot going on with this base right here, and I love it. I love the pipes. You can, they even have the water dripping down here. So a lot of details on this statue right here. And I love Pain. Pain's doing one of my favorite moves right now, Shinra Tensei. So he's pretty much repelling what's coming at him and everything is just looking good right now. It feels so good to be unboxing a Naruto statue and I gotta take you guys in depth with this statue right here starting with the base and up and then we gotta check out that light up feature. So before I go in depth with the statue I just want to show you guys how the authenticity coin certificate looks like. If we take a look at the coin we have a picture of Pain right here. I think that looks pretty cool and it got some weight to it too. Check out the back. We have number... 221 out of 280 of these and not a lot of these are made so things like these sell out all the time but let's take a look at this certificate right here this feels nice so if we open it this feels legit this feels really legit right here so that looks pretty dope all right let's go in depth with this statue all the way at the bottom of the base, there's no nameplate for this statue, but I think that's okay. I love the water effects that they did right here. Kind of like there's water pouring down the pipes. And I wasn't able to get this one in all the way, so I thought I was going to break it if I do. So I might have to play around with this one more, but the bottom just looks good. You can see the pipes, you can see the little drainage area right there. So they did a lot of thought when they did this base right here. You can see more of the bigger pipes here. Take a look at the, the painting right here. You can see the, the weathering, the battle damage. That just looks nice. You see some cracks right there. Let's check out this chameleon right here. You can see the tongue. No Renegon eyes for this one though. But check out the green skin with the bumps right there. This humanoid face right here, this is probably my favorite. I remember Payne was just chilling one time with one of the tongues right here. So I think this one looks good. And check out that Renegon, yo. You can tell that thing's gonna light up. You can kind of see through it. And I just think that looks amazing. Once again, check out all the cracks and damage on this painting. You pretty much see there's some damage right there too. You can see a little bit inside also with more of the pipes. So I think that just looks amazing. You can pretty much angle this statue any way you want and it's still gonna look good. It doesn't matter what angle you have it on. And check out this one right here. Look at those teeth. This guy needs some toothpaste. But yep, again, the Renegon just looks amazing. You can see more of the cracks. You can see a little bit of, of weathering or fading color right there. A little mold effect maybe. You can see some of the expressions on this one's face. And yo, that is really good. More of the pipes right there. And check out the painting. I love the shading that you can see also. More of the pipes. And this is where we start to see some of the dogs. I love the, the skin texture on it. You can see the hair. Like I said, these got the Renegon also. And check out that note. Wait, look at the teeth. This looks like a dog you don't wanna play around with. This dog isn't a pet. I just love the tongue, it looks shiny. 
the teeth just look vicious. And here's another face right here. This one's more relaxed. His teeth are closed. He pretty much has a squint in his eye. See the pipes coming out. And yo, okay, YK Studio. Man, the bass just looks amazing. Like, I don't know what angle I probably want to rock this statue in because I kind of like it from the side where you can see this face right here because I don't know, something about that just, it just draws my attention. But let's come up and get closer to Payne. I love how he has the rails right here. Pretty much here's Payne. Now let's check out his Akatsuki outfit. You can see it's textured. I think that's really cool. In anime, like if you want to be specifically anime, there's no texture when they wear their Akatsuki outfits, but I don't mind a little texture on the outfit. looks good to me. There's his feet. He even has the toenails and fingernails on him. Shinra Tensei. Check out the Akatsuki ring on his finger right there. When it came to Payne being on top of the statue, I was a little worried. I didn't know how secure he was gonna be, but the magnets are pretty strong right here. The magnets throughout the whole statue are pretty strong, except for one area, and that's probably the head. The head is extremely loose. The head comes off so easily. They give you some blue tack, I guess, just in case any of the magnets are loose. But speaking of the head, this is probably the most important thing I wanted to talk about because I was loving everything, but I think the face actually might be the weakest point of the statue. If you guys take a look here, I probably think the paint job could have been a little bit better, but if you take a look at his forehead, kind of where the forehead protector touches the hair, there's a little bit of a gap right there. So that's the one thing that bothers me about the face. I wish they could have done better on that and maybe the paint just a little bit, but they got the Renegon right. You can see the piercings on his ears, his nose, um, his bottom lip. I think they did good on those, but I just think the, the paint job could have been a tad bit better on the face. It's not gonna make me upset about the statue because I still think it looks amazing, but yeah, I just wish they could have done better that wise, but I love his Akatsuki outfit. I love the pose that he's in. I'm pretty much probably gonna have him facing the side like that. So when this comes to a statue, you're not gonna be pretty much up close to it in its face. You're gonna have some distance from it, so. Pretty much the face isn't gonna bother me too much, but it had it could have been better. If someone were to get this statue and they want to maximize it to its fullest potential, I'd probably recommend repainting the face. I think that would be the best option for this statue. So above the statue, there are two compartments where the light up features work. One of them being where this piercing is for the dog and then the other one where this rock goes. So you can take this rock off. So right here and right here is where the light up features are gonna work. And let's test this thing out right now. I'm praying this works on the first try. Nothing breaks. All right. I'm liking what I see so far. Let's go. All right, there we go. Yo, the light ups look amazing on this statue. Check out these Renegons right here, all of them. I feel like I'm about to get caught in the Jinjutsu looking at these. The light ups just look amazing. We're about to see how this statue looks like in the darkness. Overall, I was very impressed with the light up features for this statue. The lights are very bright. So if you put this in a dark environment, it's definitely gonna stand out. And some I like, I like putting batteries in over a plug. It's just my personal preference. But if you guys check out the light up feature here, this looks nice. This looks nice. That was my unboxing of Pain from YK Studio. And like I said, it just feels so good unboxing Naruto. Again, I wanna know if you guys miss me doing some Naruto unboxings. And Pain is one of my favorite characters. Pain is always gonna get love on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and Shinra Tensei. Peace.